From the last few days, I have given you some keys, some keys from our main passage of Vacation Bible School regarding running this race of faith with endurance, enduring to the very end. And that is what Keep Calm and Race On is about, racing on, continuing to race, not giving up. Too often it is said, when children graduate high school, they graduate church as well. That must not be. That should not be. And if your faith is genuine, it cannot be. It can't be. So, how will it not be the case that you suffer shipwreck regarding your faith? I gave you some keys. Let me go over them really quickly as we read this word. Let's read God's word first. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So I gave you a few keys. One of them was that, remember, you have a lot of people cheering you on. You are on the last leg of the race. You are carrying the baton. Continue on. Continue on. Continue on. Don't give up. And they are crying and shouting to you and encouraging you. In the crowd, you have people like Moses, you have people like the Apostle Paul, and many other people that we are going over, whose faith we have run, whose race of faith we are going over during this vacation Bible school. And all of them are cheering you on, saying, keep on keeping on and don't give up. Run this faith, run this race of salvation with endurance to the very end. Key one. Key two that is here. Let go of the sin that hangs on you, that weighs you down, that keeps you back. The filthy sin that defiles you and incapacitates you from the effectiveness for the kingdom of God, from running this race of faith effectively. Lay it aside. All your pride, all your sinful habits, everything that distracts you from the loving gaze on Jesus. And that was the other key. You are are to look to Jesus, who is both your identity and example. And And the final key that I gave you is that you are to look to Jesus, who is the reward. Keep your eyes on the finish line. That's how you finish well. Right. Today, I want to give you the final key from this passage, and that is this. The fact that Jesus is the author and finisher, or as you have it in the ESV, founder and perfecter of your faith. I say to you, run with endurance, run with fervor, run with zeal, run with effort. But too often when we think of effort, we think of our effort. But I want you to change that mindset. The effort that we mistake as ours is really Jesus' effort given to us by grace. It is Jesus working in us to want to and to do good, to walk and to run this race. It is God who gives us the desire. It is God who gives us the effort. It is God who gives us the energy. It is God who gives us the gift of the good work to do for his glory. It is grace from beginning to the very end. It is Jesus who is doing this. It is Jesus who will complete it. So run with the confidence that Jesus has already won. Run with the confidence that Jesus has already won this race for you. He is the completer, and he is not a quitter. The Apostle Paul puts it in this way. Philippians chapter 1, verse 6, And I am sure that he who began a good work in you will complete it to the day of Jesus Christ. It is this, with this confidence that I want to do the work of ministry. But in honestly, in honestly, I have told you in the past that in my weak moments, I don't have such confidence. But 
by faith, I am going to proclaim this confidence. And I can you tell you honestly that often I do have this confidence. I do have this confidence about you, that God has begun a good work, and because God has begun it, no matter what I choose to focus on, what failures, what stumbles, what foibles, <laughs> what incompleteness in my effectiveness towards you, I will not be looking at my anything, my effort, my weaknesses, your effort, your weaknesses. I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at me. I'm looking at Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith, the founder and the perfecter who is at work in both you and me. I think this is the most important key, that my faith is not up to me, it's up to him. And because it's up to him, he will provide the resources that I need to keep on keeping on, to race on. And that's my heart's prayer for you today. I want to close today's thought with those of you who may be thinking, Pastor Paul, you talk about the, the race of faith. <laughs> I, I can't run any race right now. I'm in a hospital bed. Under COVID conditions especially, I can't get out. What can I do for the kingdom? I can't go on missions. I feel very incapacitated. I feel helpless and sometimes, honestly, I feel useless. But then I ask you, what is this race of faith? It is to keep on keeping on believing in Jesus, not relying on any of your effort, not relying on any good works that you have accomplished or will or can accomplish, but relying completely on the work that Jesus has already accomplished and that Jesus will finish in you to his glory. So it's my prayer for you that in that hospital bed that you will cling to Jesus in faith, that you will trust in him, and that you will confidently come before him, not relying on anything that you have done, but relying only on the victory that Jesus has won. And keep on keeping on right where you are. And what I say to those in the hospital bed, I say to those of you, those abled, able bodies <laughs> participating in the Vacation Bible School, race on for the glory of King Jesus. Let's sing his praise.
dangers and such stumbling blocks so many so many obstacles that the enemy throws in our way but our hope is only this that you have overcome each one of those obstacles and that you are at work in our lives to complete what you have begun and with this key of success we will open every door and we will race on for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.